So countdown. Three, two. Hey, this is John and Andrea. It's a few minutes on the homestead. We're a day late. Sorry, we started on the Sunday instead of Saturday. But we had a processing class yesterday. It went really well. Um, so we'll do more of those in the future. Uh, but they are usually last minute. You have to catch it in a hurry. So we are together because we have a mystery person behind the camera. So that's great. Uh, so we're back in the processing barn today because we have bunch left over that we needed to get to. Plus some girls that um, needed to be done today. And we don't like to do it after the class because we're so tired of it. And was, that's exhausting of a day. So we're going to... T teaching you takes work <laughs> and wears us out. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going we're gonna to process a couple of chickens. We're going to eviscerate them. And Andrea and I are going to kind of race. So... So you start on that end. John, John already knows the answer to this. Yeah, so, she, she always wins. So I am doing an older hen. We know because it's got a band. John's does not. He is doing a young rooster. Um, we both chose our chickens kind of at random. So these so. these animals were, were alive this morning. They've already been uh, scalded and plucked. And so now we gotta we got to clean them, take out the guts. So you ready? I'm ready. And go. We're going to start by taking off feet. One foot. We're just going to go right through those two knuckles. And I'm going to take off this tail. Use a very sharp knife. Very sharp knife. Uh, if you don't know how to sharpen a knife, then just buy a new one uh, that is sharp. But learn how to sharpen a knife. I'm going to come around to the front. I'm going to take off this neck skin just by scoring it and pulling it off. Put that in there. I'm left with, there is the trachea. I'm going to get out, getting out the crop, which is right up under here. I have to loosen it from the, the skin up here, as well as the breast meat. There is the crop. I've got it loosened. And Grab everything. I have to get it all disconnected because we're going to pull it out from the other side. There we go. Go in here. I'm going to loosen up the lungs. I'll loosen up the trachea where it connects to the to the lungs. And I am loose. And look at her. She's already she's already cut into hers. I'm going to make a cut right above the vent. And. Doing some guts, turn this off and fritch you out. <laughs> but you know, this is what we do. I'm gonna pull out the. Oh, I got some poo. Oh, you need to come to me. And I gotta clean up some poo. I got the egg. So I had more hen. So it happens at this time of year. Everybody's laying, and there is all of my yolks. Our future eggs. So we do save those and boil those for the chickens. Yes, I'm a little further out than John, but it's just the way I am. I am quicker. There's another yoke. So, All right. the girls lay. She was banded last year to leave our flock, so. Right in here, this is the, this is the vent. I'm just going to come down on one side. I'm going to come down on the other, come across. And that releases everything from the chicken. These are all the guts. These are testicles. Those are rooster testicles. They are inside the body, not outside. So I got a, I got the boy, she's got the girl. That's a gizzard. This is the liver and the gallbladder. I'm going to cut some of the liver so I don't spill the gallbladder. There's a liver, and I've got a spleen, there's a spleen, and then finally, I didn't get the lungs, but they're in here, there's, Where are my guts in the bucket? there's a lung and a heart. Alright. I'm on the last part of my chicken meal, cleaning my gizzard. My gizzard in cold water. This is chicken food, chicken <laughs> food, chicken food. Rinsing out my girl. 
so you as much fat as I can. I'm gonna cross cut the gizzard, open it up. There is a liner in here, which I'm gonna I wanna get that liner out. Okay, so there's my clean gizzard. I'm gonna cut the neck off. I'm gonna come down as far as I can. Take off the neck. So I've got some fat that I'm gonna keep on. So, since she is an older hen, so I'm gonna pack that back in there. And I'm actually done. So. All right, I'm gonna rinse mine. I'm just gonna stick my finger up the neck hole. Do what she did, rinse it out. I didn't set a timer, but you saw the you, you're in know where you're at at the video, so <laughs> <laughs> but too long. So there's a queen chicken. We got you a can, boy and a girl. You can kind of tell the difference how it's longer, and this one's mine's a little more squatty, a little more meaty right here too. So a little longer, round body, longer, longer legs, legs and a boy. But this one is more flavorful than his. So it's older. The older your chicken, the more flavor you're gonna get. Then it goes in our cold water. This is cold water. It's just gonna set in here. And these are the ones we still have left to do. So. Thankfully, I have a nice hot water tank. So I'm going to rinse off my egg in hot water. And as soon as we get done, I will put this in the fridge for us to eat. Yeah. So. Uh, and she got sacrificed, even though she's laying eggs, she is an older hen, and we know that she may lay a few eggs this spring. But then she's done. She was actually red banded at last year's health check, which is an upcoming event that hasn't been scheduled yet, but um, we banned a certain amount of our girls, and unfortunately, when we banned them, the, that is their year, so. All right, well, that's how to clean a chicken, like, real fast. So, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you later on the homestead. Nancy, enjoy your breakfast. Or lunch. Or, yeah. And we will see you soon on the homestead. We've got some classes coming up. Uh, we got um, chicks. Chicks. Uh, raising chicks. Raising, raising chickens. chickens. Uh, everything so, you need to know about raising chickens. That's it's coming up the next Saturday. Saturday. So Lots of space. Prob probably will not be doing another Saturday video next Saturday because we've got two classes. One online, one in person. Next. Saturday. So, all right. See you later in Homestead. Everybody, bye. Bye.